Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review. Today we're taking out the Sikorsky H34. This is another awesome uh, product from uh, developer BK, uh, which I've also recently found uh, his YouTube channel. Uh, some awesome products, uh, another very well done product, and I'm going to basically click buttons and uh, give it a fly and see what it has. Uh, model is very nice. It is, as according to the developer, a um, custom model, not a port over. So uh, can be used as freeware. It is a native project, not a port over from other simulations. So let's go and have a look. Uh, so the outside is nice. Uh, actually, before we go inside, I'll let you know that there are four liveries. So I'm using the US Navy. There is a French Navy. There is a German SAR. Let's get some of these on the screen here. So uh, French Marine. Japanese. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's Rescue or Navy. The SAR uh, from Germany. More the French. Uh, so there's multiple things we can do with this. Okay, just notice the window opened. I'm going to have to work out how to do that too. Great product. Uh, so let's give it a, a look inside, shall we? Right, inside. I do like how the glass does have a color tint on it. You can see the uh, lighting effect here I have. It's very blue there. Well, it does actually translate inside. So, hey, there we go. Pilot door. That's the door? Holy schmoly. Yeah, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? Because uh, you're climbing up. Let's get out of the way there. Climbing up these uh, steps and ladders. Wow. So these things do sit over the top of the uh, engine. You know what? I have worked out how to find that. So, button over here. Open up the engine cowling. Let's have a look at the front there. Even that's modelled. What's that? A huge rotary. Yeah, it looks like it. Exhaust down the bottom there. Um, from memory, I thought these had huge overheating issues, but uh, because of the huge um, cowling hiding it in there. But I guess you're getting a lot of wind down through here. Let's go back in and close that. We do have the open cargo door. So this guy who's barely hanging on. Uh, stands there okay cool um, haven't worked out how to drop the cable uh, I'm not sure if it does that I'll also notice that the pilot is missing once I uh, step outside you don't have the inside but we do have this guy uh, sitting next to me g'day mate um, okay there's a farewell party that the uh, commander has to go to tonight Fair enough. Uh, so what we'll do is let's work out what we can press. So I've got a battery switch here. We do have the uh, fuel toggle cutoff cover. Nothing, nothing. Starter. Let's give that a start. It automatically turns the uh, magnetos on for me. That was nice. And it does start slowly. Gives you that effect of going backwards. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Probably one of the better modelling I've seen of the uh, most recent helicopters. Certainly not the loudest. I'm sure I'm a lot louder on the uh, talking here. Now, um, we do have, I'm guessing this is the radio, but I don't think anything here is clickable. No, if I say a click button, no. Okay, so that is just a uh, 2D thing. We can turn our magneto off if we want to. We're not going to. We can actually press the park brake as well. So that pulls it up. I've noticed that up like that seems to turn it off because when I had it all the way in before, I think that's what was happening. Um, put my foot on the brakes, not much movement. I'm sure it locked the wheels on me, so that just pushed them all the way in. Go back out. There we go. All right. Can we close that cover? We can. Thank you. 
All right, well, let's give this a go. Now, you do need Airland FS to fly this. It does have its own um, particular code comes with it. Uh, you know what? We'll leave the um, cargo door open there. See, my wheels did move there, so the uh, park brake was off. Let's get up and over this bridge like I normally do. So it came with a um, power truck there. And a guy with a pushback cart. That oh, looks pretty cool. Alright. Yep, I do like this. I like how now, with my door open, I don't have that blue tinge. Plane flying over the top of me. Let's have a quick look at the views while we're uh, taking it nice and easy here. We've got a nose view face up against the glass. Okay, hang on. Let's go. Whoa, outside. Okay, some of these probably could do with just a little bit of adjustment. Yeah, okay. No, that, not 100% um, right there. Could do with some uh, some readjusting. And that's just code in on your camera view. Uh, change your X, Y, and Z uh, or Z um, allocations. See that when you look left, it actually goes up higher. Uh, as far as speed goes, we're actually doing 140 plus knots here on that dive. You lose a lot of a rudder control when you do that, or rear um, rotor. When I say control, it's a lot harder to, to turn because you've got so much forward momentum. Just back off. There's some shadows there that uh, some sort of building is missing. Just bring it into uh, the view they have here. Guy's still hanging on. Very good. Now that's uh, hands off the stick. It actually flies quite well. So in that case, can we close the door? Or is it this one? Actually a button. Look at that. Does this guy have a door? Hey, there you go. Sorry mate, you don't want to fall out. Alright, let me see if I've gone over here. Alright, let's take it back for a landing. Very nice. For a second there I thought the compass wasn't working, but no, we are heading west now. Uh, controls seem to work quite well too. Another beautiful aircraft. What we'll do is we will close this one as well. Doors closed, thank you. The slower we go, the more uh, control we have over that rudder. What are we doing? 100 knots. Now I'm just using Airland FS on uh, casual, but I'm using the full wood. There we go. And I didn't want to hit that uh, tower. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was trying to test the rudder turn on here. And it like it. Alright, there we go. I'm getting a little bit of uh, lag buffering there. Alright, we'll bring it back in. It's a fairly quiet aircraft. I would have expected a lot more noise. Like, well, probably after flying the Huey the last few days. Um, that thing is a very loud. Go nice and slow, you can turn it over around quite easily. Let's go land back on our marks. So, we do have a pushback type by the looks of it, the guy that was standing there. So, this is all the stuff that is automatically set by uh, whatever codes are written into the aircraft uh, file. So, when you say yes, you want power, yes, you want a pushback, and you can actually use your ATC. Uh, ground services to call for them. Oh, I had a little bit of a lag there. So, wheels are down. And rolling, actually rolling quite fast. Park brake on, there we go. So I should see that that park brake is now flat. Okay. Now do we 
stop that? No. How do we turn it off? Maybe just need to turn the batteries off. No, fuel cut, there we go. Yep, that'll do the job. Try running without fuel there, helicopter. Um, look, very nice. Uh, highly recommend it. I do like how the blades slow down rather than... Up. And it looks like we've got some uh, dust particles above us. Yeah, we do. Right, that is taking a while to slow down. Magnetos are off. Fuel is cut. Battery is off. No, it's shutting down. Using what was ever left in there. Look, very good. Um, link will be in the description. All right, there you go. You get the uh, chocks because we've got our park brake on. We get a little generator as well. Um, I'm impressed. There is more and more helicopters. There is a huge demand. So hopefully 2022 sees an official release by a Sobo for helicopter support because obviously the demand is there and the quality is getting better. Thanks for watching. Hope you like that. Like, comment, subscribe. If I missed anything, write a comment down below. Let me know what I missed. Thank you very much, BK. Another awesome uh, product. Cheers.